Hey, what's going on, guys? What is up? It's your boy Frostbite, man. Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the AK 74U and why it's broken. So, the reason why the AK 74U is broken, um, a couple nights ago while I was on stream, I wanted to use the AK 74U. I really haven't used it. I pretty much use only the metal weapons, and I want to use something that's a little bit off metal, but it is very still competitive when it comes to its stats and when it comes to overall stats of TTK and damage multipliers and how much damage it outputs per shot or DPS for that matter. And I noticed quickly that my shots weren't really accurate as it should be at medium ranges um as you don't as most of you probably don't know the ak-74 is not a popular weapon anyway so the ak-74 you does have a moderate um fire rates and it's very accurate it has a moderate fire rate and low recoil which means um a laser so to speak similar to lc-10 but lc-10 does have a little bit faster fire rate and similar to the um bullfrog as well when it comes to fire rate and its recoil those three weapons are very competitive with each other when it comes to TTK being very in line with each other. Then the, the AK-74U is right under the LC-10, and uh, Bullfrog is right on top of that. Uh, so, but the Bullf uh, the AK-74U and the LC-10 can really pretty much be swapping because the TTK from the two uh, fully kitted out to the meta setup is very negligible. But I think it's like 610 milliseconds, uh, 610 for milliseconds for the AK-74U to 604 with the um, LC-10, which and uh, when it comes to frame rate, as as all games run at a 60 frame rate minimum, um, it's pretty much they're, they're killing the same frames. So anyway, guys, these are the two classes I'm gonna show you guys right now. So this is the two classes I was testing with right here. Um, this is the class I was. This is the actual weapon I was using. This is my setup that I was using for um, my stream. I know I should be using the KGB skeletal stock because it uh, actually um, is better for the gun because of uh, ADS fire and moving speed and aim walking speed and expected fire speed compared to fire movement speed, aim walking speed, and ADS fire move speed. Um, I think this is much better because I get to get to shoot faster because I'm gonna be, uh, obviously we're all gonna be tax spending most of the time. But anyway, I was using the PKM stock and what I, my first hypothesis was, it was because the Gru suppressor, because as you guys can see, when you do any suppressor setup with this, um, with any type of barrel, it does change it to this DSS Venturas kind of look to it. They're very similar, obviously, because they're all AK um, platform weapons but I like how it really does change the look of the gun itself. But at first I thought it's because the iron sights is actually being pushed forward, which kind of did make sense to me at the time because it is pushing your front sight post from back here to further up the weapon itself. So it changed from right here to up here, it does change sight pictures, but it kind of didn't make any sense to me because when um, your sight picture, when your iron sights are not aligned with your actual gun for a certain distances, you're going to be shooting over the optic because obviously it's a it's a triangular point from the the barrel, the iron sight, and the actual impact zone itself. It falls in an, an iron in a triangular uh, formation. So at certain ranges, your iron sights are not going to be zeroed for certain ranges up to a, a, a certain range where the true point of impact and true point of aim is going to match where the um the sight of the muzzle to the iron sight itself. Enough this mumble jumble of real, realism of when it comes to shooting and everything like that. As you guys know, I'm a gun nut. Uh, I work at a gun store, so I kind of know this stuff. Um, I have to know this stuff anyway. So anyway, but what I figured out is actually the barrel that is causing this to happen. And it's all barrels, not just one or two barrels, not the VDV. It's every barrel that's causing this problem. Um, so as of right now, guys, it's going to be crazy. All right. Hey, guys, what's up? We are now in plunder and i'm going to show you guys what i was trying to explain to you guys in the intro about this ak-74 build that i have that i noticed that the point of impact and the point of aim was completely off and at longer distances where you're able and capable of tracking a target and actually compensate for bullet drop where this could be really detrimental on your point of impact and point of aim and how it's not true with this specific build so right now i I'm gonna show you guys my build right now. I have the AK-74U, I have the Gru Suppressor, the 9.3 VDV Reinforced Barrel Spetnaz Grip, the 50 round drum, the Spetnaz PKM stock, where you can run Skeletal stock too as well, which I think I might run for my for a meta class, but I believe is pretty much is whichever suppressor you are using that causes this. So I believe is if either you use any of these suppressors that changes the overall like iron sight, as you can see, like, if you change one, of, oh, sorry, I'm on a barrel, sorry. If you change any, like, if you have one of these barrels or one of these barrel attachments that messes with the iron sights itself, that's what's going to happen. So, right now, I'm going to put a target down here 50 meters away. And I'm going to show you guys how it can really deviate from, like, you know, your target from medium to long range. But this actually was a test I did here. Okay, so let me put it on this wall here. 
but my man uh Leon S. Kennedy back fifty or so meters. Moving. Alright. Fifty or so meters right here. Reposition. Cancel that. Alright. I'ma go for a headshot right there. Five. all right guys, I did five headshots. Alright. As you guys can see, I aimed at the head and I was hitting center mass. That I was aiming right here is like at the top of his head and I dropped almost two feet. That's at 50 meters. So if you guys don't really understand that, the, like the whole idea of it, dropping 50 meters, like dropping a, a shot at 50 meters, bro. And there's no bullet drop at this at 50 meters. There's no moving any visible bullet drop at 50 meters because I could literally aim. Now I'm aiming at center mass. All right, five shot center mass. Let's see how low the shot is really hitting. I'm shooting a dude in the groin. I am literally shooting my guy, Leon Kennedy, right now to knock off Leon Kennedy in his groin at center mass. And that is not, that is not good, boys. <laughs> this is not good. Kennedy right here. Now we have the base um, AK-74U. I'm actually gonna pick up the non-base AK for the for you. All right, we're now in overtime, so I'm going to try to make this quick. So we're going to put out um, Joe Valentine or Claire, Claire Redfield, uh, Claire Redfield. And we're going to go 50 meters with the base AK sending for you. Uh, try our best to do 50 meters. Moving. All right, 50 meters. Now I'm going to mount up to actually get a better, like, you know, shot placement, you know? Oops, sorry. All right, five headshots on Claire Redfield. All right, and I'm going to do five headshots. Titty mass, sorry. No, nope, headshots. I'm going to do five headshots with the AK sending for you with the suppressor. Oh, that's two, three, four, five. All right, guys. All right, so AK sending for you base. AK sending for you modified. At 50 meters, I'm dropping literally about, I will be considering probably about a foot or almost a foot and a half on a target. And that's with the, I will say this crew suppressor. I don't know if it's dropping of a bullet velocity or I don't know if it's whatever it's doing. It shouldn't be doing that. But in all entirely, I honestly think it's just the suppressor itself. Um, we're going to jump into another game, try to do the same thing. And... Try to use a different uh, different barrel setup or different weapon setup. See where is the uh, mishap is coming from. All right, guys. So Relocated. I noticed something that is actually pretty interesting. So it's not the iron sights of the actual suppressor that is causing this weapon. I believe it's actually the barrel itself. Uh, because I took off the suppressor, took off the groove suppressor, took off the regular suppressor. And I noticed the shot placement is still inaccurate. But as you also can see... When I ADS with the AK setting for you with the, the um with the so I would say the barrel equipped any type of barrel equipped the rear the tip of the rear sight post is not aligned with the center of the crosshair as it normally should be when you're ADSing as you can see the base of the base of the front sight post notch is what it's more centered on and so. That is where realistically your shot is going to be placed when you're having any type of, I would say any type of barrel, but right now the barrel that I do have is, oh shoot, sorry. The barrel that I do have right now is the BDV 9.3 reinforced. I'm going to try these other barrels, but right now all these barrels, I would say all these barrels are somewhat broken. I'm going to try like the 10.3 liberator barrel next and see if it's, that's going to work If see if that's going to have the same problem as the bdv9 uh bdv reinforced barrel. so here we are we are back with the 10.3 um i will say what is it again the 10.3 liberator barrel and i will say it's pretty much going to be doing the same thing it's going to be very inaccurate it's not going to be aligned with your point of impact and point of aim will not be the same and this is going to hurt a lot of AK-74 users uh, because your shots are not going to be as accurate as you think it is. And your drop, your bullet is going to drop considerably sooner than what it should be. Even at close range, it's going to cause problems. 
even like your point blank range won't cause much of a problem but if you're trying to go for headshots it will because you will be start missing shots because if you're aiming at a head and you're at point blank range the head is here you're gonna hit the dude in the body or you're gonna completely or you aim at the head you're gonna hit the dude in the chest so you have to raise a shot up so let me pull out my uh target right here I mean, I mean, I'm not going to go out to 50 meters. I'm going to go, I'm going to say 30. 30 is enough to show a good, uh, good observation or good hypothesis, a good example of what I'm trying to do. So let me get that. Moving here. Never mind. Take that out of the way. Aim center mass. Aiming center mass right there. And I'm shooting at a dude in the groin. I shot homeboy in the groin, guys. 35 30 meter shot at the head and I'm hitting center mass and that's a problem so that's the 10.3 liberated barrel doing the same thing as the 9.3 BDV barrels so let's try another barrel sorry for all this stupid you know special crap whatever is going on let's do the Calvary barrel so the 9 8.4 Calvary barrel we're gonna try it out when I'm not concentrating on the fight, I don't know where my buttons are. Alright. Alright. Let me do five shots right there. Then I'm gonna do five shots at the head. Alright, overtime is happening, so we just <laughs> let's get this going, guys. As you guys can see, shoot homeboy in a groin at point of blank and almost a little above center mass at the headshot. Sorry, Leon. Um so yeah, that's how it's that's how it is right now, guys. Don't use any um, don't use any freaking uh, what you call it barrels with the AK-74 as of right now. Since I do have an extra slot, I'm gonna try a um, magnified optic first. I know it's stupid, magnified optic. Let's shoot her in the eye. So we won't even have to do um, with a regular red dot sight because this actually proves that magnification doesn't uh, play a role into this. So it's pretty much is a iron sight thing, but. It could possibly, oh, if it's not magnified, it might do the same thing. But if it's an optic attached to it, I'm pretty sure it would continue being true to target. But, you know, if just for testing sakes, let's do so. Oh, shoot. Well, that's that's good enough for me, right? Good enough for you guys. Uh, Let's see. Center mass. Point blank. Okay, so that just proves it's if um, you have any optics, it will fix it. But if you are running iron sights with AK-74, what a lot of people do with SMGs, it's not going to fix it. It's going to cause a lot of deviation in your shots. Um, the longer your distance your target is, the more crazy and exaggerated the actual point of impact is compared to your point of aim, and that's going to be very bad. You're not going to have a good day. All right, that's all I really have for you guys. So pretty much this is going to be, I would say, the substitute to any um, AK-74U builds because of the iron sights not being accurate when it comes to having any other barrel that's on it that actually messes with the iron sights so to speak this is i would say it would be an ideal compensation an ideal setup for your ak-74 you this is what i'm going to be running because uh with the base iron sights it's dead on accurate as it should be but when you had any type of barrel configuration to it it's going to cause um misalignment when it comes to your shot placement and it's going to really hinder medium engagements when it comes to this gun because um, out of all SMGs and with the LC-10 and the AK-74U, those two are the most accurate guns that can uh, engage targets beyond 20 meters. Unlike the AK, uh, unlike, sorry, unlike the Cold War MP5, the MAC-10, and uh, what other SMGs, the KP-45. I think that gun actually can engage targets and so the Milano is just, they're not favorable because of, of the three round burst and a slow rate of fire, even though the uh, the K5, whatever it is, the Cat 45, whatever it's called, um, the KSP 45, sorry. It's very accurate and it has a, a fast cyclic rate when it comes to the burst delay and everything like that. And the Bullfrog too, the Bullfrog Iron Sights honestly needs the same love and appreciation <laughs> that the PPSH got. So when it comes to contenders of like medium range, like extending out the medium range for SMGs, pretty much using it beyond its uh, intended purposes i would ak setting for you the lc10 bullfrog would be the top three to do it, but with this iron sight problem and have how how the, the meta is based with um using the web using smgs with the bullet velocity enhancing barrels 
this is going to hinder the AK-74 when it comes to the meta, and it's not going to be a favorable weapon to the meta like it never has been, and this is just another, I would say, uh, negative buff, or debuff, sorry, that is going to further hinder the popularity of the AK-74U. If you guys like this video, I know I haven't been uploading consistently. I'm trying to, trying to get, um, you know, topics to talk about and being very vigilant as I was on my stream that I noticed that my shot placement was immediately off um, and it wasn't because of my accuracy. I was aiming at the target. I just wasn't hitting the target because the, the rounds were hitting the ground before <laughs> when I was aiming at the target because of the deviation of the point of impact. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for liking the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm your boy Frost. I see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Always activate push notifications so you guys won't miss a single upload. And also follow me on Twitter. I'll follow back. And as well, lastly, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Dude, we stream almost daily. And we always get lit in the stream. So let's get it.